If you were a football player, where would you imagine yourself at 25? At the peak of your talent, eating the biggest glory, heading to the biggest club in the world, or already winning your third Ballon d'Or? I know, kind of ambitious, but imagine that you're not just any player, imagine that you are talented. A striker with enormous physical strength combined with unique speed and technique, not to mention the power of finishing. So, wouldn't you dream big? I know you would, and for Adriano it was just a matter of time before he reached the top of the world. He was already on one of the best teams in the world. He played for the best national team in his story. He had already been among the 10 best players of the season, but fate decided to test him, and the player who at 25 was in top physical shape saw his career decline in an unprecedented way. What could have been a legend became just a good player, who over time will have his name forgotten in the memory of football fans. And today you will learn about this player's story. I do not believe what I've just seen! Oh my God, an insane goal! In the pinned comment, you will find the link to the detailed ebook I made about this player's career for a symbolic fee. Help us grow and bring more content to you. Do you remember Adriano? How good he was? Comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Born and raised in Villa Cruzeiro, one of the most dangerous favelas in Rio de Janeiro. He arrived at Flamengo in 1991, aged nine. He was first a left back until his last year at the academy being runner-up in on Brazil's famous sub-20 tournament in 1999, until Carlos Alberto Torres noticed his skill and placed him in the attack. He was promoted to the professional team in 2000 and made his debut on February 2nd against Botafogo in the Rio Sao Paulo tournament. Four days later, he scored a goal against Sao Paulo in the same competition. That same year, Still at 18 years of age, the striker was called up for the first time to the Brazilian team. The player, from an early age, already impressed everyone because of his great physical vigour. In his first year with the club, he scored 11 goals and contributed with one assist in 40 games. Excellent numbers for an 18-year-old player, recently promoted from the academy. In 2001, the following season, he helped the Rio club become state champions and in the middle of the season, he was negotiated to Inter Milan for 13 million euros. Right on his debut on August 15th, he scored an amazing goal against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. Inter decided to loan the player to gain experience, and in the middle of 2002, he was loaned to Fiorentina, where he scored six goals in 15 games for the club. The following year, he was sold to Parma, in a deal involving Fabio Cannavaro. In 2002-03 season, he scored 17 goals in 32 matches in the Italian league and helped Parma to finish in fifth place. He was also called up again and made five appearances for the Brazilian national team, scoring three goals in the process, including two in the 2003 Confederations Cup, despite Brazil being eliminated in the group stage. The following season, surprisingly, Adriano scored nine goals in 13 games. All while still 22 years old, the star was shining. And Inter Milan, realizing the mistake they had made, ended up buying the player back, this time for 23 million euros. And Adriano arrived receiving the number 10 shirt. In the Italian Cup, the club reached the semi-finals Adriano scored, but the club was eliminated on penalties by Juventus. In Serie A, he scored nine goals for the club and finished the championship with 17 goals, including a masterful performance in the last match of the season against Empoli. From that day on, he was known as the Emperor of Milan. He was called up for the Copa America, in which coach Carlos Alberto Pereira left important names out, such as Ronaldinho and Ronaldo. Adriano then, took responsibility. In the second match against Costa Rica, he scored three goals in a 4-1 victory. Brazil reached the final, where they would face Tevez's Argentina. The teams were tied until 43 minutes into the second half, when Cesar Delgado put Argentina ahead. But at 48 minutes, Adriano tewed the match. 
taking the decision to penalties, and Brazil got them all right to guarantee the competition title. He was the competition's top scorer and voted best player. Adriano still finished in sixth place, both in FIFA Best and in the Ballon d'Or. But in August 2004, nine days after winning the title, came the news that would change the course of the player's career. Adriano receives a call from Brazil. Adri, dad died. There, the world collapsed for him. But with the support of Zanetti and the club president, Massimo Moratti, Adriano continued playing as best he could. He scored 16 goals in the Italian league and finished third with Inter. In the Champions League, he scored seven goals in seven games. But unfortunately, the club was massacred by its biggest rival in the quarterfinals. Even so, the star finished as second top scorer in the competition, with just one goal less than Ruud van Nistelrooy. In the Italian Cup, despite playing only three games in the competition, he was extremely decisive and scored two in the final against Roma and helped secure the first club title in his career. Adriano had his highest scoring season in 2004-05. Even though he only scored five goals after halfway through the season, he finished with 28 goals in 42 games. In the Confederations Cup of 2005, Brazil came almost complete, this time bringing Ronaldinho, Kaká and Robinho. In the semi-finals, he scored two goals against Germany and Brazil won the match 3-2. In the final, again against Argentina. This time he didn't let the drama take over. He scored two goals and the team won four to one, earning the second title for the Emperor's team. He was the top scorer and voted best player in the competition. He ranked fifth in FIFA's best and seventh in the Ballon d'Or. At 23 years old, the star was living a dream, but something was not right. Inter Milan were eliminated again in the quarter-finals of the Champions League, this time to Villarreal. The club won the Italian Cup again, but Adriano did not score a goal in the campaign. Inter Milan also won Serie A, even with Adriano scoring just 13 goals and missing six of the last 10 league games. But the star could still redeem himself and show his talent again in the most important tournament in football, the 2006 FIFA World Cup. And Brazil came strong with Ronaldo's return. Together with Ronaldinho and Kaká, Adriano formed Brazil's magical quartet. He scored in the second match in the 2-0 win against Australia and in the round of 16 against Ghana. But Pereira, believing that the team was slow and heavy, placed Adriano on the bench in favour of Ronaldo in the match against France, where he saw Henri score and declare the team's defeat. It was clear that this was not the same Adriano as two years ago. In 2006-07 season, at Inter his performance fell even further and he began to be questioned about his work ethic, as he had been caught a few times in nightclubs. The new coach of the Selesson did not call him up to reformulate his team, demanding that the player change his behaviour and focus on football. In February 2007, the Inter coach banned the player after he missed training due to his extended birthday celebration the night before. The player started missing games and being on the bench more and more and saw Crespo and Ibrahimovic slowly take his place in the team. Inter were eliminated in the round of 16 of the Champions League where Adriano did not score a goal in the competition. They were Italian champions again but Adriano scored just five goals in the campaign, a third less than in previous years. Adriano had lost the completed trust of coach Roberto Mancini, who did not even call him up for matches. He admitted in interviews with the Italian press that, depressed, he turned to alcohol, which hindered him even more. He tried to start again in matches for Serie A and the Italian Cup, but ended up being allowed to return to Brazil to improve his physical condition at the Sao Paulo training center. After the Sao Paulo club made the striker lose three kilos, and reorganize his body fat. The Sao Paulo club managed to convince the Italian club to release him on a six-month loan. He played for the club in the Sao Paulo State Championship, where he scored 11 goals in 19 games, but the club was eliminated in the semi-finals 
by Palmeiras, and the main objective that was to bring the player to play in the Copa Libertadores, he came through, scoring six goals in ten games. But the club was also eliminated in the quarter-finals. He was called up again by the national team, scoring two goals in three games. But then the problems started again. He started arriving late for training, leaving others early. He then returned to Inter Milan and returned in good form, scoring regularly and playing well. It seemed that Adriano would be the same again. But it was just a glimpse. In April 2009, Adriano simply abandoned Internazionale training and returned to Brazil without authorization. There were days of disappearance and even speculation about his death. Adriano, in fact, was staying with family members in Vila Cruzeiro, the favela where he was born. Days after his disappearance, he and his manager scheduled a press conference. On April 9th, during the press conference, Adriano declared that he intended to stop playing for an indefinite period of time, as he had lost the joy of playing football. The passion for playing football had simply gone with his father. After three weeks of uncertainty in his career, and whether or not his contract with Internazionale would continue, the club announced on April 24th on its official website the amicable termination of the Brazilian centre-forwards contract. In May 2009, two weeks later after being released by Inter, he decided to return to his roots and signed a one-year contract with Flamengo, and he debuted scoring a goal and showing on the field that he could still play ball. At 27 years old, this was a new beginning for the player, with excellent performances, scoring hat-tricks, and together with Petkovic, he was instrumental in the Brazilian championship title. After 17 years, the Rio club won the honor again, and all thanks to Adriano, who was also the championship's top scorer with 19 goals. He was also awarded the Golden Ball by Placar magazine. Everything was going well again for the emperor. The following year, the club brought Wagner Love to the squad, and together with Adriano, they formed the famous Love Empire, they had good performances in the Rio Championship, but the club was eliminated in the semi-finals by Botafogo, with Adriano missing a penalty. After the club was eliminated from the Libertadores in the quarter-finals, the striker decided not to extend his contract with the club and returned to Italy, signing with Roma. It seemed like Adriano could again make an impact on Italy, but he only played eight games and didn't score a single goal during his time at the club showing himself overweight again. He then decided to return to Brazil. But Flamengo and coach Vandele Luxemburgo denied his return to the club. He then decided to sign with Corinthians. He returned to training and prepared his return to the field. But an Achilles tendon injury got in the way. And after acts of indiscipline, he was dismissed by the club. After that, he had brief spells at Atletico Paranaense and Miami United but the player did not show any desire to play for any of the clubs. That despite all his physical strength, Adriano was just a lost child inside. This became apparent after the untimely loss of his father. Adriano confessed that he was terrified by the idea of becoming the man of the family. His main motivations for playing football were to make his father happy and of course to earn money. With his father's death and his million dollar bank balance, what was the point? The sacrifices of an athlete's life, once part of their routine, were now an unbearable limitation. Why bother training when he could drink, whether to mourn the loss of his father or to celebrate the fact that he could buy all the booze he wanted? The tragedy, of course, is that your talent has an expiration date. He could have been the next Ronaldo. He could have represented his country at the 2010 World Cup. But what we saw was just a talent that didn't came throughout and we are left with only glimpses of what Adriano could have been. Don't forget to check out our ebook in the pinned comment.